My car just took an important step toward full self-driving. I am so excited. Hi, I'm Joy. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I share my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new and future owners learn more about this car. If you find my videos helpful and informative, please consider subscribing. This past Saturday, my car received the 2020.12.6 software update. This is an important software update because it contains a feature that will allow my car to now stop automatically at traffic lights and stop signs as part of the full self-driving package that I purchased. Initially, I thought I was not going to get the software release because I thought that this was for early access program participants only. Clearly I was wrong because I am not part of that group. And it looks like Tesla is ready to start rolling out incremental full self-driving city driving features little by little to the fleet so that we can start to train the neural net to recognize signs and traffic conditions and scenarios better to move toward a full self-driving reality down the road. For this video, I will spend some time on the release notes itself because there are certain conditions that you need to know before you enable this feature if you have the full self-driving computer and the package option purchased. We will then go together on my very first drive after enabling this feature. So you can see my own learning curve of this new feature and my first impression and reaction of the traffic light and stop sign self stopping feature. So let's go. First of all, this is a beta version of the software, meaning this is still in test mode. So you cannot expect this to work perfectly. In this release note, it says that as with all autopilot features, you must continue to pay attention and be ready to take immediate action, including braking, because this feature may not stop for all traffic controls. This feature will be conservative, slow down often at first, and will not attempt to turn through intersections. So this car, if you're trying to make a right turn or left turn at an intersection, when the light turns green, it's just going to go straight. So you do need to take control. This is only for going in a straight line. To enable this feature, shift your car into park and tap control, autopilot, traffic light, and stop sign control beta. So I will do that in a minute. There's a note here that says when this feature is enabled, the maximum set speed while using auto steer is limited to the speed limit of the road. So you can go faster than the actual speed limit that is going to be displayed on this part of the screen. Before this feature can be enabled, camera calibration may be required and the latest version of navigation maps must be downloaded via Wi-Fi. So these are the conditions under which this beta version of traffic light and stop sign control would work. So let's go ahead and enable this feature under controls, autopilot. I am already in the controls. So go to autopilot and there it is, traffic light and stop sign control beta. I'm going to turn this on and the same warning message comes on. Do you want to enable traffic light and stop sign control while it is beta? Yes, I do. So now it's turned on and let's go out for a drive. Now on the straight road, I am going to engage autopilot and as expected, this is a green light, but it did not detect it was slowing down. So that part didn't work out so well, but as expected, you would see that the speed limit is set to 40 right here and I am not able to change it up or down. I Well, I could change it down, but not to uh, faster. So now this is green light, but it seems like at every green light is, is trying to slow down. So stopping for traffic, it keeps telling me it was going to stop for traffic in however many feet. So um, yeah, this is very conservative. So at each intersection, I had to press on 
the acceleration pedal a little bit just to nudge it forward so that you can continue on so yeah this is not perfect obviously um, but um, it is working so far and this is detecting another intersection coming up and I am encouraging my car to drive forward and it is keeping within the lane although it is a little bit choppy it sort of bounces around here and there when there's no marking on the street so this may be a little bit annoying right now to use it and uh, it is very very sensitive so it keeps saying stopping for traffic control so I have to step on the accelerator but I know that Tesla is playing it safe right now which I appreciate and I hope that by feeding Tesla all this street data that they are able to perfect this over time all right Turn this on and confirm. There's a red light coming up. It says stopping for red light. There we go. Very nice. And now it's green, so I have to put my foot on the accelerator like normal so we'll continue going I will go up to 40 miles per hour because that is the maximum speed limit set here another confirmation There's a confusing two traffic lights back to back. So it got confused and it asked me to take over right away. And I'm going to remove autopilot because I'm going to make a left turn here. I made a left turn, so I'm turning this back on. And I'm going to use the gear stock to confirm that I want to go through this intersection because it's green light. And the next one is coming up right away, another confirmation. I've also noticed, I don't think I captured this on camera, even if you confirm that you want to go through that intersection and the light changed and it turned to red, your car will stop at the red light. So that is a safety issue that you shouldn't worry about. But of course, you should continue to pay attention um, with the road condition and brake as needed. So confirm. So the next intersection, it was green, but now it's turning yellow, and now it's detecting that it had turned to red. So even though I confirmed it early on, it will stop. And it was a little confused when I was just watching the screen right here because it thought I had turned green, but the car was still slowing down and now it's at the intersection is seeing the red lights fully and it is stopped as designed now it's green i'm going again but my car wanted to go over there because there's no lane marking in the center of the intersection and it detected that pedestrian on that little island and he thought it was a little too close. So it was giving me warning that I was about to hit that person, but I wasn't. Because there's no... And here I'm going to confirm 
that I want to go through this intersection. And coming up will be a series of stop signs on this road. So now we'll see how this reacts to stop signs. Stopping traffic control in 500 feet. So this one has the flashing stop sign in addition to the sign, but the camera saw the flashing lights up there first. So now I'm going to continue by pressing my accelerator or you can also use the gear stock. And now it's coming to the next stop sign. And it says stopping for traffic control and it shows a stop sign on the screen. We are fully stopped and, oh, that's one car, you're not following the rule, lady. You got here later. All right, let me turn this back on. And here's a big turn coming up. the stop signs and how this would behave as stop signs. And there was phantom braking just now because there was a car on the side of the street parked and it thought that um, it was coming into my lane. All right, green light, I'm going to go and head back home. Just as any other features that Tesla has been releasing over the years, this one is no exception. There is a little bit of learning curve because it is a behavioral change that you need to train your mind getting used to. Personally, I think I will stick with the pressing on the accelerator method to confirm the notification because I felt that was more natural to me since my foot is constantly right by the brake pedal and the acceleration pedal just in case to take control over the car versus tapping on this gear stock to confirm. But that's my preference. When you get this update, you can try it out both ways and see which one works for you better. As I mentioned, this is a significant software release that Tesla has done for the general users. And this is a milestone that Tesla is marking, pushing toward true full self-driving for the general masses. And it is not just for Waymo or Ford van delivery. This is for average people like you and me to have this capability. And this is why I am really excited to have this feature and I will be using it as much as possible, helping Tesla to train the neural net much, much better. With that said, I have done a few Tesla autopilot road tests that you can watch right here if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed week.